I I'm uh I'm gonna do this again because I recorded this like three times and I I kept, I always forgot one thing in each of them because there's like so many little quirks to this trick. Um, but yeah, so to start it off, that's what it looks like when you when you do it correctly. And I'm gonna go step by step on what like fucked me up and how I got over it. So first problem I ran into was the classic what the fuck am I supposed to do it's just hitting my arm how am I supposed <laughs> how am I supposed to clear that um and that comes from holding the handle just like that like it's a like it's a motorcycle because that's a tip that I heard in a lot of videos and honestly that is not a good tip because if you hold it actually like a motorcycle thing and you're trying to rev it that's all that's gonna happen that's all that's gonna happen. This is not like revving a motorcycle at all. It's a lot different. And um, that's because you, you don't wanna hold it like this. You don't want a supreme grip on the handle. You want to set up for a fan. So you hold it like this, in the middle of your fingers and the tip of your thumb, just like you would for a normal fan. And you do it like this because then you can roll it down your fingers. You know what I'm saying? So there's no rolling to be done when you just hold it like this because it's already done rolling down your fingers. Now it's just arrived here and shit, what are you supposed to do? Now all, the only movement is just based off of your thumb turning it, which is very important in the trick. But yeah, if you hold it like that, you know, with your fingers splayed out and the tip of your thumb and you give your, your hand a little bit of a curve, you don't want it fully vertical, but you don't want it fully to the side. You just want it like somewhere in the middle. And with that, with those two steps, it should give you a bit more clearance. But you might still hit your elbow, because I did at first. Or you might hit your arm, because, uh, yeah. So that brings us to the last step of it, which is you kind of want to jump it up. You kind of want to, like, push it up a little bit with your arm and with your thumb. Just, like, slide up like that when you're doing the twisting. And that's is the final piece that should make sure you most definitely clear your hand when you hold it when you do this middle like fan hold you hold your hand kind of to the side not fully vertical not fully horizontal and then you give it that little that little that little like push up that little jump and push up with your thumb then you'll do this then then it'll finally clear your hand and then Another thing, this is what I forgot to add in the last one, is that when you spin it, you don't want it to stay fully, like, vertical in your hand, you know? You don't want it to stay in this position, because then it's harder to lead into the the rollover part of it. So what you want to do, and I think this just happens naturally, I didn't, like, actively try to do this, but when you spin it out, and you use your thumb, and you push it up a little bit, it goes into this position, where it's no longer... It doesn't look like you're setting up for a choker fan. But this, you know... Oh, wow, I really fucked that up. That leads into the whip rollover. Which is, uh, you know, that's how you close the trick out, so it's mandatory. Um, so, yeah. You throw out with your fingers like this. Angled hand. Spin with a jump and a push-up. And then it'll clear. And then it turns around into this position. And then boom. Easy money. It just takes a lot of fucking time. A lot of fucking time. Just not doing it right until it suddenly just works. But I'm telling you, if you follow those three steps, uh, you, you'll, you'll get it eventually. You'll get it. Just, just stick with it, my man.